All right, you guys, this is Ross. I think what I want to talk about today is a very important topic in regarding fruit trees. It's really getting them established, getting them the right form from the beginning. This will maximize light. This will maximize airflow. This will eliminate disease or minimize disease and actually get yourself a stronger, healthier, more productive fruit tree over the long term. And these techniques here that I'm going to mention mainly apply to... Uh, the standards, right? The things that we can always grow, the more the trees we mostly think about, the pears, the apples, the stone fruits, they really benefit from this, which is training them to mostly an open center. As a backyard grower, I think you've got really two forms that are beautiful. You have the espalier, which I have a few on this property, which really has great airflow, um, less disease pressure. We got great light penetration. It has a lot of function in terms of its efficiency in fruit. Or you go with the, uh, the open center here. Someone like me in a climate that's quite rainy, quite humid, we struggle with disease. So the pear, the biggest one here is actually fire blight. That's what you're looking at here is a pear tree. It's young. I just planted this a year or two ago. Now that it's actually established itself and got itself some longer branches, it's, it's quite erect in its habit. The pear really loves to grow up. It doesn't like to grow out. Even some apple trees, depending on the rootstock, depending on the variety, it could be very columnar. It could be uh, quite erect. So a lot of these trees that require this more attention for disease pressure. Uh, also, if you just want more fruit, more production, you, you want a healthier, stronger tree, this is just something you should do which is rather simple. We had three main scaffolds that formed. We actually have a few down here you could count that actually have the right form. They're growing outwards. They're spreading their canopy out, reaching for that sunlight. This is really critical because if we don't have this form, this spreading habit, we're gonna have a very dense canopy in the future because if it's all up in the air like this, we're only gonna cover a certain area. But if it's more outwards, we're now going to have branches like, like you see here in front of you that are really maximizing that sunlight that's coming in, that photosynthesis. We're getting the maximum sunlight for this spot. Guess what? There's a big shade tree right here to my left. Probably not the best thing you guys should do. Really important to have very little competition for these younger fruit trees. Get them established. All the weeds need to go away. All the big trees need to go away. Also, we need to mulch very heavily. So we're not doing everything by the rules, but something I think is absolutely critical with the form is getting this thing open and established outward, getting these scaffolds here furnished with branches as a fellow YouTuber, someone I look up to named Dan Newtboom. He does videos like these about stone fruits, apples, pears mostly, and he's a pro. He's been doing this for a long time. One of the things in his videos he mentions is actually furnishing the branches along these main scaffolds. What does that mean exactly? Well, I think, you know, in his, in his English words, <laughs> um, his proper English words, we just want to fill in the branches. We want to make sure that from the entire length, from top to bottom, these main scaffolds has a good furnishing, a good set of new growth that's healthy, that's well-spaced, that's not too vigorous, that's not creating a problem, that's not creating too much density. We're getting the photosynthesis that we want. We're filling in the trees, the bare spots in the tree where it's brown, where the bark is, we want to have that covered. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I really like that about what he uh, says in his videos. So. For me, that's critical, and it really just comes down to, and it really doesn't matter for the most part, what fruit tree it is, what fruiting plant it is, whether it's a grapevine, you know, whether it's a, a kiwi vine, whether it's this josta berry over here, a persimmon, you need to maximize the light. And yeah, I'm here in an area that maybe only gets about five, six hours of light a day. So we gotta do everything we can to get, get this tree uh, to the best state possible and that way we'll have success. So um, big fan of this method and this doing it like this. I've just done it with stakes because this tree was really erect. I mean, it was really just straight up in the air. 
Get yourself some four foot long bamboo stakes. You can go even longer if you want, heavy duty, whatever you want to do. And I've just gotten some tree tube, tied it to the tree tube, got myself a nice angle to these branches, maybe a 65, maybe a 45 degree angle on these branches. And it's worked out really well. I can already tell there's a big difference from this tree's life to right now. It's starting to look really good. Um, the other thing you can do actually, a big recommendation, is if you don't want to do the stake route, uh, get yourself some bricks or heavy rocks. Tie something around, maybe some twine. Tie it around those heavy objects. Put that on the ground and then tie something here to the top of the branch. And that'll bend the branch down and weigh it down. Over the next one or two years, this has to stay here. And inevitably, this will become permanent, this form will become permanent. So maybe next year we'll take it off. We'll see what's what's going on here. But uh, yeah, that's what you got to do, I think, to establish the form properly in these young, young fruit trees. So thank you guys for watching. This was Ross Ratty. I hope you guys will, you know, check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, hit the subscribe button, trying to pass on the oh so important knowledge. Take care, everybody. Have a great season.